Hey yo, what's crackalackin' everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. If any of you guys have Twitter or social media, like Instagram, anything, anything, you guys have probably heard by now. And then you read the title of the video, so you guys have probably got, you know, the gist of what's going on here. No more lines, alright? Have no fear, your boy Bongo is here. Now guys, I'm sure if you guys have seen anything to do with this sandwich, there's been lineups and wait times, and people have been hiding behind closed doors to try to get the, you know, the upper edge on the guys who have to show up the next morning because everybody wants the sandwich but yo there's not enough Popeye's chicken sandwiches to go around all right there's a shortage in this world and no today is the day I'm gonna show you how to make the damn sandwiches before I start this video and start getting into you know making making the sandwich I need a pro sandwich critiquer someone who maybe has been to the Chick-fil-a drive-thru a hundred times ah! someone who maybe paid Chick-fil-a employees to eat the Popeye's oh, sandwich come on you guys already know if any Chick-fil-A employee gets fired, blame it on the kid because <laughs> I exposed them. Yeah, I love you guys. I didn't mean to get you fired. Shut up, Baker's man. Let's hope they don't get fired because they're really nice. Anyway, guys, what we came to the conclusion at the end of that video is, yo, Popeyes makes a pretty damn good sandwich. But if there's one thing I know, is usually I can make a better sandwich than what they're selling out there. Tracks. So today, we are doing none other than a DIY Popeyes chicken sandwich yank Jeez. right here in the comfort of your own home. And obviously, it'll taste just as good. Before we get today's video started, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsors, Squarespace. So guys, if you are ready for today's video, go down, smash that like button, and hey, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so to get this DIY started, what you guys need is a piece of parchment paper oh, and obviously a cutting board because guys, you don't want to make too much of a mess in the parchment paper to make sure you guys will get rid of the mess. But you guys need two pieces of parchment paper. The free range chicken, the organic free range, the ones that were running around around enjoying their time right? not in no freaking cage like you yeah. the, the, the lavish chickens I want the chickens that have been having a good time yeah because if they've been having a good time then I'll have a good time watching them but here we go Obviously, we don't need the entire piece. So what we can do is cut it up into what we think a burger size might be. So probably around this. But guys, all right. So let's just work with one piece of chicken at a time. Although this is a burger size, it is a little too thick for the burger. So that is where the other piece of parchment paper oh, comes come in. Come on. If you guys have a meat beater at home, now I know it's, 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 <laughs> yeah. it's a hard instrument or hard utensil to come by. But I don't have one. I have a lemon squeezer. So I'm going to make do with what I got. Yo, wait, 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 wait. I, I know how to beat me. Here we go. The oh. oh, you see the vibes. Jeez. All right, so once we have one fillet kind of vibing out like this, what we could do is actually put it in a nice bowl on the side of us and move on with our next piece of chicken. Now, here's another piece. What we're going to do is put the parchment paper on top. Got it. The hammer. Smash that Smash chicken. That chicken <laughs> button here. We might be able to actually cut a little bit of this guy. That's what I'm thinking of. All right, so that could go into our bowl. Now, guys, I'm going to continue that process. I have like three fillets and we'll catch you guys when we can season our chicken so guys we have completed our last breast so we have a couple pieces of fillets in here that we can now create our burger so we can clean up our parchment paper dash that on the side now what we need guys is a little bit of hot sauce and maybe not a little bit we might have to turn the cap on this guy Ooh. but pretty much we're gonna marinate these guys Jeez. in a little bit of hot sauce just like that <laughs> that's, that's a lot of hot sauce uh, just a little bit yeah. <laughs> you should use half a cup I use less than half a cup but you're gonna use half a cup if you're using two full chicken breasts. I'm not using. Two Wait, full. I actually have a question. Is Popeyes. this is this like an all Popeyes chicken or just spicy Popeyes chicken? This is the spicy one. Okay, okay. I like the spicy one. Although I don't like their spicy one, I like my spicy one. Okay. Now on top of the hot sauce, what we want to add? Seasoned salt. Literally, I don't know what it is, but you gotta add it in there. So here's a tablespoon. We're gonna put a tablespoon of seasoned salt, and boom. And mm. in case we screw around, but now what we want to do is mix up the seasoned salt and the chicken with the hot sauce like Jeez. so bob it out Probably smells like Popeyes we can put these guys in the fridge for about an hour cooking takes time and that's the beauty of cooking you can't rush it you got to take your time and you'll come out with the perfect sandwich no while the chicken is in the fridge what we want to do now is actually work on our dry rub and on our batter that we are going to be using to make this Popeyes chicken what we need is two more bowls okay now in this first bowl what we're going to do is add about two cups of flour so here we go we're going to open up our nice all-purpose this white flour guys make sure you guys get the white flour. <laughs> why wait the whole wheat flour then gives you a whole wheat chicken what about the black we need two cups of the white flour so boom here we go oh, with the disrespect. That. now what we need is an assortment
assortment of spices. So again, with my tablespoon, I need another tablespoon of seasoned salt. A tablespoon of seasoned salt, just Wavy. like that. I need a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Now guys, Come one on. tablespoon of cayenne. That is to give it a little bit of red color for those wondering at home. So here we go with the cayenne pepper. Now we need ground paprika. One tablespoon. <laughs> Two more words. Fresh paprikas. Here. What we want to add now is some poultry seasoning. I don't know what the heck the poultry seasoning <laughs> is. I've never really heard of it, but <laughs> and just dash the salt in there as much as you can. Mm -mm -mm. Again, now about a tablespoon because you don't want your chicken to be too salty, but non-salty <laughs> chicken is whack. And what we need is about a teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> and what we are gonna do is now mix all the ingredients together and create a dry rub for our chicken. So here we go, oh. boom. Make Make sure you see how there's clumps of color still we don't want that so once we have the dry ingredients all ready to go now we can work on our batter so what we need for our batter guys is what i thought batter was dry rub oh uh, like you're playing yourself <laughs> Charles. i'm like the chicken goat so two cups of white flour into our batter what we need is only a half tablespoon of the seasoning salt and at this point i could eye it but i don't want to play myself so here is it me or is this the same recipe like this is where things get interesting <laughs> Like three eggs. Oh shit, no. So guys, we need three <laughs> eggs in our batter. So here we go, boom, first egg, another one. Instead of waiting an hour and a half in line at Popeyes, you can actually make your entire family Popeye sandwiches in the same amount of time. So now that we got the three eggs in with the flour, what we wanna add guys is two cups of club soda. So same thing with our measuring cup, open up our... Did you shake that? No. Why would I shake You're that? You're a liar. I, why, why would I shake that? Yeah. I swear to God, I didn't shake that. You're a liar. I don't even like club soda. I wouldn't even have touched it. I was about to say a joke. What the fuck? <laughs> Ultimately, this was going to become wet anyway. Now I just got a little taste of club soda. Everyone was a little thirsty. It's fine. Club soda for everyone. Now, where was I? Two cups of club soda to the measuring cup. Two cups of vodka. This was the wassiest club soda I've ever Bro, it's literally bubbling like zooked. All right, so here we go. About a cup and a half. I'm yes, going to start. Like a bash. A little more. Boom. Just like so. Go into your batter, guys, and slowly start mixing it all, and you will have yourself a nice Popeye's batter yee. And then it'll be time to season our DIY Popeye's chicken sandwich yee. Alrighty, guys. So now that we have left the chicken in the fridge for about an hour, as you can see, it's nice oh, and it's cold. It's freezing. Yeah, touch that nice Jeez. and wet. See the vibes. We have our dry rub that got a little bit of wet. We have our batter, and obviously I got my oil going. So by the time this process is done, we should be ready to fry our chicken. But the hands are getting a little dirty, folks. So here we go. We have our first piece of chicken. What we want to do is just kind of shake off the hot sauce vibe. Dry rub it real quick. So boom, just like so. Little dry rub. Make mm. sure that you are lathering it up in the dry rub. From the dry rub, shake off the rub into the batter like so. Let it sit in there. Just a little bit, let the batter soak up into your piece of chicken. Oh, come on! Take it out of the batter, quick, quick. And back in what? to the dry rub. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Now make sure you are rubbing it with the dry rub <laughs> like this. Again, guys, make sure you're covering all the batter. And now once that is complete, you can shake off the excess. Boom! And, and there's our first piece of chicken. Now we gotta continue that process for the rest of them. So here we go. Boring! Now, I don't know who's better, because you're the baker's man. Fuck. But like, I'm the DIY god. So like here, one, oh. like two, oh. like three, oh. like two, oh. like one, oh. like three, oh. like four, That's like happening. back. Oh, oh, come on. Give it a nice little rub. And just like that, the Charles Burger. Oh, that one's actually pretty wavy. Now that we have seasoned and battered our chicken, we can actually get to the deep frying stage. So I'm going to take this nice dusty piece that actually looks like oh. a Popeye's chicken burger. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on, are you? I'm gonna take Charlie's piece. ASMR, Charlie's ASMR. Piece. Here we go, the yep. Charlie burger. That's the best one. Yoy. Oh! We're gonna give this guy about 10 or 15 minutes to fully cook and then we're ready to assemble this DIY Popeye's chicken sandwich yank. You already know the vibes. Cheese! Based off the sizzle though, I think it's gonna be a banger. You can't touch it right away because the batter needs to form. So let it do its thing for about four or five minutes before you actually start flipping it in the oil. Little bit of bongo info for your head tops here. Thank goodness. Oh, that is a big dutchie piece of chicken. Jeez. Let's see the second piece. Nice big flip. Oh, oh my come God. Come on. Come on, doggy. All right, we're going to leave those guys in there for a couple more minutes. I might just dip in and eat it now. Yeah, like call it a too. video. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. No, I'm joking. That is Popeye's. Mm -hmm. If I know any 
anything, it's Popeye's. Yeah, that is Popeye's. And that chicken. looks like Popeye's chicken. That little the exact color, bro. All right, here we go. What we need to make the perfect DIY Popeye's chicken sandwich is obviously start off with a nice brioche bun. Guys, I have to make sure I got the brioche bun because this is actually a major key to the sandwich. This is a nice, delicious bun. It complements the chicken so well. Pre-cut. It smells delicious yeah. and it has a nice shiny tapas oh. just because it's got to show the world that it blings on you just in case. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Boom. We need a little bit of mayo and now based off of how they put mayo, I believe it's not just squirted on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, but they oh. squirt it on and then they actually spread it. They spread it around like this. All right, now you see the spread. Looks pretty good. All right, some more mayo spread. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, man. Perfect spread. This is where this is where things get a little interesting. Right? Oh. This is where things get a little interesting. What's gonna happen? Someone tell me why the Popeye's chicken sandwich <laughs> is bun, mayo, pickled chicken. No! I don't know who's in charge of the recipes, but I gotta give it to Chick-fil-A. They definitely came up with this first, but who am I to judge? Here we go right. with our two slices of pickles. Two, now we're gonna two is a little risky. A little risky? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of pickle. It is a lot of pickle. As someone who likes pickle, I don't even know if that can be, uh, maybe, maybe one. We might just have to do it just one. My oh. sandwich is gonna have extra pickles. Oh, come on. Boom, with our pickles now. We're gonna give Charlie the Charlie. We're gonna put it on top like this. Finish it off with the bun on top. Oh give my. it a nice little squeeze. God. And like, two words. Come on. <laughs> DIY Popeye chicken sandwich oh made God. right at home, guys. Take this in. You see the brioche bun. You see the pickle vibes. You see the the perfectly cooked chicken, Jeez. and obviously topped with mayo. I'm gonna make one more sandwich, and then it's our favorite time of the video, the taste test time. Let me analyze. Oh, okay. It. How well, how are we doing here? Um, if this is Popeye's, okay, so 90% chicken, 10% bun ratio. You got that right? Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. It's okay. All chicken. It is all like, chicken. No pickle. Are they dill? They are kosher dill. Kosher dill. dill. Shout out to all uh, you know who's, Jewish viewers yeah. out here. All right. Uh, here we go. Let's oh, get it. A little, little hot sauce vibe. Extra kick. Okay. Like, come on. Give me a break. Oh, big crunch. Mm. I really got to analyze the flavor. Like, two words. Quit YouTube and become a fucking chef. <laughs> I'm leaving. No. I'm no, leaving. no, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. No. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's that burger is phenomenal. French 10, flavor 10. Jeez. Chicken cooked through. Ew, in, hey. in there just for the right amount of time, which yeah. means I'm obviously not gonna get no salmonella. No, no salmonella in this kitchen. I actually need to take another bite. Okay, okay. But this bite without the hot sauce just to really just get the Just say, yeah, facts. Oh, the crunch is kind of a vibe. <laughs> Popeyes. Come on. Come on. Higher bongo. Hour and a half lineup, bro. Come on. Bro, for the no way, this is way better. Because realistically, if you have bare bodies, you could like, you could put like 30 burgers. Bro. You know what I mean? Just Best like, chicken burger I've ever had. Jeez! You heard it here first, folks. All right, my time, my time. I, I need to taste burger. Like two hurts. Taste test. Oh my God. How does he do it again? I don't know. But it's pretty similar to the Popeyes. Wow. I need another bite with more chicken. Bro, the season is the exact same. And more like, pickle. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get the brioche bun. It really complements the chicken. The pickle, vibe. I like mayo, so vibe. But the chicken, vibe. Vibe. Interesting. What are we working with here? Yes or no? Good boy. Good boy. Test. You guys heard it here first. He Prince. Yeah, I, I know, right? It's a vibe. Alrighty, guys, there it was. A DIY Popeye's chicken sandwich made right in the comfort of your own home. It was delicious. It, the crunch was there. The bun was there. The pickle was there. The sauce was there. Obviously, the sauce was there. There you go, Bongizi. Did it again. Huge, huge shout out to the man behind the camera for helping me out with today's video. Guys, check out his channel. It'll be in the description down below. Again, a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video on Squarespace, you can design a website that truly represents your brand and you can use a built-in template that has been crafted by Squarespace's world-class design team. And guys, for all you future chefs and restaurant owners out there, you can actually integrate OpenTable with Squarespace so that you can book reservations directly on your website. In addition to all this fun stuff, customers can purchase domains directly from Squarespace. So if you do want to grow your own business or you want to create a website to market your own ideas, I highly, highly recommend using Squarespace. And if you sign Sign up for Squarespace today, you will get a free trial as well as a 10% discount code. Boom, there it is on the screen, guys. Check it out. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a big like at the bottom and a huge comment of what you guys want to see next. Come on, without you guys, I'm running out of ideas here. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, take it easy. It's Bongeezy! <laughs>